Do, 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 do. Yep. We're on break now? Oh, yeah. Nice. You've been posting some quality stuff and sad. Quality loads?
go again. Cool. So we're back, and yeah, so... Pops, you wanted to ask about, like, ask uh, the lawyer if he'd seen any strange things around the area. Yeah, yeah, mate. Uh, let's just take a break from the quiz for a bit. Uh, we'll have a smoke on the balcony. Um, so out there, he'll give him another diary. So, uh, mate, uh, his girl, she went, she went missing from the area. I know you didn't see her. You said you didn't see her go missing or anything like that. Like you. Said she was uh, a bit of a chip head. Uh, you wouldn't know. Uh, nothing else strange in the area, anything uh, we should be uh, looking into? Uh, well, there were a few people. Uh, people who've rocked up recently. I, I don't know who they are, but they're these guys, right? And they've got these tattoos. And these guys don't look like they're in a gang or nothing, but they don't look like they're up to anything good. They're always walking around in suits, and look, they're all big friends, like, bigger than me, bigger than you. They're like all orcs and trolls, nothing nothing less, it is. Yeah, I, I don't talk to them much, they kind of give me the evil eye and watch me and, uh, you know, I, I get the feeling they're looking for something or someone. I, I, yeah. Uh, maybe ask if anyone's gone missing. I mean, like, I know people are probably always go missing in the fucking homeless community. It must be pretty fucking common. But, like, specifically in the last two months, if, like, if people have been going missing. Oh, people have been going missing all the time. But uh, there was this, uh, few guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean... They only go missing occasionally, like once every three months or so, it's around these parts. Are they coincidentally also chipheads? I mean, there were people who didn't matter, sinless, no one, no one really cares. They were just in no investigation, no police. I mean, we call the cops when someone goes missing, but, you know, they don't do anything. Fuck it, brass. They ain't worth any shit. Just uh, like emergency services. Where, uh... <laughs> uh, Pops instantly, like, blocks. Blocks him. Um, where, you, you know what, you can tell me what these tattoos and stuff look like. Yeah, actually, I can. Do you want to draw it on a napkin or something? And he posts a bunch of, uh, like, he, he just visually describes the people I've linked. Alright. Uh, thanks, mate. Uh, it's, it's only something for us to look into. Uh, you've been real helpful. Really appreciate it. Um, so these guys just uh, wander around, look at you real angry, like, and uh, seem to be looking for someone. They they come by like once a month. You said? No, they're always hanging around. Always hanging around. Like, do they at specific times or just always? Uh, well, they're a few. They always leave when, like, you know, the church starts to empty out and all that kind of stuff. But they're they're always kind of hanging around. No one really likes them, but they just kind of stick around. I, yeah. Okay, okay. No worries, mate. Oh, thanks for the info. Gives us a little bit to look into. Look into. Uh, anyone else, uh, you know, gone missing in this area more than, like, out of the ordinary? I know it's not the nicest place for for those without shelter, but... Yeah, yeah, this, uh, girl I was seeing, her name was, uh, Sarah. I, she kind of went missing a while back and never... Never found her again. She was a orc girl, 
dreadlocks. Sinless like me. Okay, or girl. Okay. Does uh, she have a name? Yeah, Sarah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, well, we'll get back to the quiz, and I'll, I'll pass this info. I'll, I'll look. I'll, I'll see if this info is any any use to us. Thanks. Thanks for the. Like, if you can think of anything else that uh, could be helpful to us finding this girl. Oh, uh, those guys I mentioned. They all really wear gloves. Weird. I I don't know why, but like, they're never not wearing gloves. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Sorry, I'm back. All right, now again, what is Regulation 32 of the Victorian Fire Act? Oh, Regulation 32? What do you want about? That's easy. And he starts, you know, responding to you. Uh, while well, he's, like, quizzing him, Pops will, like, pass along the information to the rest of the team about, like, these tattooed guys that hang out in the church until it starts to empty out. Well, hang they, out like, around the church. Around the church. Um, and they seem to, like be looking for someone um and they have tattoos and wear gloves and uh this orc girl went missing a while ago named sarah that the lawyer was dating yeah so well, we can only visit the triads tonight or we can just wait till tomorrow and have a look into that yeah you might as well visit the triads mate yeah, I'll visit sure. the triads. Yeah, use your night. Yeah, let's go visit the triads then. So before right. we visit the triads, can you give us an overview of what we need to know to not fuck up? Uh, me? Uh, not Bob. Okay, so what do you mean by so not... Saying, not, like, insult someone by mistake? Uh, because don't... Siren would know how to talk to triads, but I don't. Uh, treat them with respect. Um, Pops, you know that you should say konnichiwa and give them the <laughs> proper greetings. Um, they really like it when you speak their, you know, languages. You yeah, know, so I don't speak their languages, so I just owed them money. Well, not them, but I know I have friends of theirs money. Cool, all right. So uh, I'm going to be busy with the lawyer tonight, so you guys fucking handle shit. Just remember, con bon wa, and uh, treat them like your mate. So, you approach the busy little Burke Streak, nicknamed Asia Town after, you know, the whole Chinatown incident happened. And you're going around these places when you come across a small, unassuming restaurant. It is very tight. You actually need to climb up some stairs to get to it. But it, it's quite nice. Um, it's a traditional Chinese restaurant, that serves good food at affordable prices. And, um, yeah, as, as you enter, like a little ding! On, on the room, uh, on uh, on the doorway happens. And, uh, this is the interior of the room. So it's very red. Um, it's very traditional. You can sort of, like, go down, take a seat, um, order some stuff. Um, there is a lovely little old Chinese lady who's at the front, um, just sort of, like, you know, Talking to people in, like, Mandarin, um, you don't seem to understand what she's saying. Unless you speak Mandarin. Which I'm pretty sure none of us do. Nope. I should probably learn it. I mean, if you deal with the triads, yes, you should. I didn't, wasn't able to. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you're inside the, um, the, the Chinese restaurant. 
Uh, you hear shouting coming from the back in a language you don't understand, probably Chinese. Mm. Well, go, so, on, go, go on then, Siren, dear. These are your people. Well, um, so Siren's gonna... Is there someone that looks like they'll be introducing to the... I don't know, Aaron? Uh, what do you mean by that? I don't know, who would I talk to? Um, so it's, there's a bunch of, like, people just kind of walking around being, like, general people. Uh, but there also is, yeah, that sort of, um, nice Chinese lady at the front who is, you know, greeting people. She looks about, like, 60 years old, um, and there's people in the back of the area. Um, no one looks like an open criminal. Well, no, because they're syndicates. And this is just a syndicate place. They all walk around with massive tattoos and wearing tank tops. There's a guy in the back playing a violin. And they all have tattoos that say, I am a triad member. Yes. <laughs> On Clearly their branded, I am a triad member. So, um, Saren's gonna, um, go up to the one and give the someone who looks like they are more in charge and gives the proper greeting, which I don't know what well, that is, but I'm assuming uh, she was So you heard from uh, Pops, who seemed pretty knowledgeable on the subject, uh, Konbawa! So he said it in a very so, um, thick Australian accent that you, as an American, couldn't particularly understand, so you just kind of... Knowledge? Sure. You're such an efficient fucking t- <laughs> that sounds can, about can right. I, you want to use that? Can I? No, can I edge that? <laughs> you can edge that. Once you get zero hits, it'll be great. Ah, right. So that's probably a really bad idea to start speaking Japanese to them. They are not very uh, nice to Japanese around. Well, kind of people around these places uh, after the yeah. whole maker corporate. Yeah. Well, even before then, China does not like Japan. None of the Eastern countries um, like it, each it's, other. Well, it's almost like Japan committed horrible, horrible um, war crimes against people in China. It's not about that. They even before they just didn't like them. There's lots of. There's always been. There's lots a lot of, of other war. shit going on too, but it, there, there's there's a lot of shit. Anyway. So yeah, you walk up to this woman, um, and you know from your triad knowledge that her name is Mrs. Sao. Or yeah, I'll type that down. She is a lovely old lady who apparently has no connection whatsoever to the fact that her business is being used as a front for the triads. However, there are rumors around the uh, the you know, shadows that she knows much more than she lets on. Um, so I'm assuming I know how to talk to her? Um, yeah, she does speak English. Well, I meant, like, behavior-wise, so... Uh, be polite, and, you know, that, that's about, like, show respect and be polite. Insult her profusely. Never stop. Call her know. a dickhead? <laughs> Oh, dickhead? You know what I mean. Um, I'm going to to greet her um, and ask um, if there's anyone we can talk to with some exchange of information. So she kind of looks up at you and says, mm, uh, You're not a regular, are you? No, no, ma'am. Uh, what kind of information are you looking for? I can give you information about the duck. It is quite good. We have good chef. I'm looking for information about uh, missing persons. Oh, you want to talk to Bowden? 
I guess I do. One I second, I will get him. And uh, she comes out of the uh, kitchen, and this guy, um, sort of like dressed in a tank top, um, sweaty as hell. Uh, his his face, like his, he actually does have some mild tattoos on him, uh, and you know he's wearing jeans. And he says, uh, "Who is this?" Uh, my name's well, on a professional basis, you could call me Siren. Siren, what kind of name is that? Uh, I don't know. I didn't call myself it. What? No. What is your name? One that belongs to uh, the shadows. It it's it's the, my sh the name of the shadows. It probably the one you'd know me as if you ever if I ever survived to be known. Um. As important as this, that them, is that the name wishes to do business. That yeah, what he said. Ah. The name is willing to compensate generously for the business it conducts. Business and offers yeah. its full respects and extension towards its host. Do you want to say that? Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I'm not very good with the whole right now. That's it, fine, I have a headache, cool. so I'm trying. So uh, he, he pulls out a cigarette and says, meet me outside. Mm, five minutes. And he goes back into the kitchen and starts screaming at people in Chinese. <laughs> yeah. I really wish I could speak Chinese right now. Mm. So yeah, um, in five minutes he meets you outside in an alleyway. He sort of like lights up a cigarette and goes, you smoke? I can. You want a cigarette? Uh, thank you, sir. He hands your cigarette and lights it for you. Um, and he actually, like, flicks his fingers, like, and a bit of fire appears in his hand, and he does that. So, what do you want? Business, yes? Yeah, You're a shadow runner? Business, yes. Um, I'm listening. We're, we're what do looking, you have in mind? We're looking, we're looking for a certain individual that, um... So... Guys, can I have some help here? We are looking for this lay on this individual. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna flash the photo. Um, we are aware that uh, she did some business for, for try on the. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got it. I got it. Thanks. Um. We're we're looking for for um. This this lady here. Um. We're aware she worked with you and um. It's a bit of a talky one. Uh. We're not out to do her harm. We're just trying to look out for her right now and um, make sure things are okay on her side. You heard from her recently? Oh, her. No. I haven't heard from her in a while. She owes us a lot of money. Do you know where she is? I wouldn't be here if I did. Listen, I will give you an offer. She owes our organization a lot of money. We are willing to pay you 70,000 million if you were to bring her back alive so that we can question her. Uh, unfortunately, professional obligations... I have a rep to look after. The most generous. It was a very generous offer, and I do appreciate it. But there are other circumstances surrounding this. Hmm. Okay. That I'm is sure a... you understand. Listen, I, you are a businesswoman. I see this. I am a businessman. She owes us a lot of money. After you finish your professional business, is there any way you can bring her to us? I cannot guarantee anything. Find the girl, wipe away the debt. I don't even owe debt to this group! Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Yeah, he gets what I'm going on about, yeah! Mr. Do It! Mr. Do It! 
But yeah, I, um, I can't um, I can't promise anything. Um Then I cannot promise you anything in return. I can see what I can do though. You know where I am. <sighs> I gotta get back to my shift. And he walks back in and starts fucking screaming in Chinese. Like at the top of his lungs. Holy shit, this chick has no luck. That's what I'm gonna deny the rest of the team. It's like... She's got shit luck. <laughs> Pops is like, y yeah, spirit pact or something, right? Yeah, so what's the next step of your master plan? Well, I think the church is our, our, like, the fucking tattooed guys are our next lead, so, um, maybe rest the night and hit the, have a look tomorrow. Okay. So you guys head back to your, uh, your home, Jim's Shadow Running, in, you know, far, like, out of southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, and... You hang out there for a night, um, plan, chill, look at bank accounts. Um, does does uh does Siren want to try that chocolate chip? Oh my god! I just realised I made a pun without even fucking realising it. <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 reveal it's an accident. Okay, um, I'm gonna roll my willpower here. Mm -hmm. I like leaving my drug use up to stuff, uh, so my composure, I guess. Um, what should the threshold be? Um, how? Well, you're not addicted to it, but like, what do you think the threshold should be? One being easy, okay, two okay. being um, average, three being hard, I think four being bad. I'd say two. I'd say two, yeah. Chocolate's I'm pretty back, damn nerds. good. So what are we? What are we? Um, we are probably going to try and get some info from the okay. church. I don't feel the, the need to use it. Oh, by the way, my composure is fucking high. Fuck oh, yeah, you're a, a willpower face. <laughs> okay, um, so do you want to skip ahead to the next day? Um, yep, so we can you... question the church. And uh, may, I, may I point out, I'm a drug tolerant dwarf drug addict. Yeah. Face, go power face. Okay, um, yeah, so who is going when to the church tomorrow? I mean, if I go, then I have to go in disguise because otherwise I look like a bikey, and that's probably not good for if we want to get close to those other guys with gloves and shoot. Yeah, I, I might stay a little bit away. I'll be close by, but I probably won't head inside. I doubt the full body replacement dude is, uh, I subtle. guess it's Siren and Mr. Clean. Well, like, it's not that I can't. I just have to, like, actually just not look like a bikey, and it might just be easier for you guys to just do it yourself. It will be nearby. We'll just be, like, a, a block over. Yeah. We'll be on DNI. You just fucking let us know. We'll fucking charge in if anything happens. I doubt it will. It's church. Like, what are they going to do? Pray the... Siren away. Is it the same pray the gay away? Alright, so uh before you head inside I made you these little treats. Oh, you shouldn't have pops. No really. <laughs> you really you, you shouldn't, shouldn't have, have. <laughs> they're, they're, little, they're little chocolates. Uh I couldn't find chocolate. So I, I got, used raisins. Uh, <laughs> I used uh, these uh, berries I found in the backyard. Um, 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 <laughs> you're a shit there were rabbits berries. in the backyard. We didn't have berries back there. No, 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 no. They're, on a, they're on a bush, don't worry. <laughs> Look, they say uh, na natural is better, so uh, he, uh, he hands you like each like a small packet of chocolates. Can I palm it? Yeah, roll me palming. Uh, and Pops, can I have you roll perception? I don't expect them to eat them now. It's for when they get hungry. 
Tiny Tin, as always, does not take it. Yeah, he doesn't even fucking bother offering a U anymore. Yeah, good, because your food's fucking shit. Yeah, so, uh, can I get Pops to roll me perception to see if Siren actually totally eats it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she fucking. Oh, she looks like she really enjoys it. Oh, do you want some more? I got another packet. I made some for Tiny Tin, but then I realized he fucking hates me. So yeah, you can have some. No, 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 no. See, no, you, you should enjoy them. He, you should enjoy <laughs> them. You're too thin. I know. You need to be eating more. Oh, I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, but I don't want I you can't. having a, a blood sugar thing during the stuff. We don't want you passing. Yeah, but out. it might interact. You it might fall on some more like white powder <laughs> drugs. <laughs> I, I fell onto some drugs and injected them. I mean, that happened in Saw. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> oh, thank God, someone else knows that scene. Um. Why would I watch that? Uh, no, movie? no, pops, pops. You know what? You know what? Why don't you hold on to those? Um, and we'll think about that later. I need to All go right, into the I'll church, and we. I'll, I'll put them back in the backpack first. Like, if you, if your sh- blood sugars get low, I'll bring them in. Do you have a buy monitor? Um, <laughs> once again. I do not. Alright, uh, Pops is gonna give you his, uh... Oh, he doesn't have a buy monitor. Never mind, why don't I have buy monitors? Oh, no, I do. It's in my form-fitting body armor. Alright, well then, uh, Pops is gonna be monitoring your, bo- your bio monitor to make sure your blood sugar does not get too low. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. She, she's walking away, there's just like this little muttering to her, like, her heart rate has spiked a little bit. Can you have you roll 1d2? Looks like you need some, uh, some downers right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I was about um, to say the same thing. Mm, you've got to calm yourself down. You, know, you don't want to be accidentally alerting Pops that your blood sugar might be too low. He'll, he'll make you eat those berries and make you f- like, force you to watch. Ah, oh, yeah. No, I, I, know what I'm, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm a horse driver now, but I know what I'm doing. So what are you, uh, what are you shooting up there? Um, just taking generics. Taking a generic. Mm, yummy, yummy drugs in my tummy. So, Hello. just take a little what, bit of Xanax. What time are you heading to church? Do you want to go around three? Um, yeah, sure. What day of the week is this again? Friday. Ah, uh, okay. Did, is it the next day? Yes. Did we get Edge back? Um, you haven't had a really good meal. So, no. What about the HSPs? Oh, I lie. You had a HSP. You had a good sleep and a good meal. You get an edge back. I will whore myself out for edgy people. I will whore (laughs) myself out for edge. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I try to. Alright, so, yep. you guys are trying to go rock up there about 3pm? Yep. Okay, so you start seeing, like, as you, as you drive up there, are you driving or taking the public transport? Um, public transport. <laughs> <laughs> the Horizon Feeling Camp. Oh boy, that sounds horrible. Look, if you don't want to express your feelings, we'll send you to the Horizon Unhappy Camp. Okay. The Relearning Camp. So you rock up at 3pm, and you start seeing... Like that kind of like, you know, choir practice coming from inside the church. Um, and, you know, there's a fair amount of people there. And you also notice that, like, there are a bunch of orcs and trolls, kind of like, not, never near the church, but around, like, the block 
where the church is, there's about six to eight of them just kind of standing around, smoking, talking to each other, um, and, you know, just, just kind of sitting around. So what do you guys want to do? Um... Oh boy, uh... I'm oh. gonna ascent. Okay, yeah, roll me ascensing. Pops, could you uh, go ahead and give me a... Looking for running silent devices? Oh, I can do that for you, bud. Thanks, that would be excellent. Look, I swear to god, if you keep doing this, I'm gonna make a Horizon Johnson. You're gonna hate me. Please do it. Okay, like, I'm um, getting a feel of the background see? count because I'm walking into a place of religious. There's know, a background count of five. Oh, Christian theology. Oh, oh they're, <laughs> yeah, they're real pious. It's theory, almost Jesus. as if it's almost as if uh, if it's almost as if congregations of a hundred plus people in the same ah. place multiple times a day for twenty years worshiping one religion sort of uh, sort of builds up, you know. Well, I'm a shaman, and this is this is no bueno. You also, see, you also see two spirits kind of floating around. One, the Archangel Gabriel with a giant flaming sword, and one, the tree of the Garden of Eden with apple and snake and everything. Oh, what, what cunt. Um, I'm gonna stop us. I'm presuming a sensing hurts. Yeah, you just kind of, like, open your eyes, and it's like, Oh my god, I can feel the light of God on me, and yeah, it hurts. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop doing that, and kind of just try to tune out the background count and the magic. As you scream. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining it's like opening your eyes uh, underwater. Or opening <laughs> your eyes, looking directly at the sun for, like, five seconds. Okay, yeah, so, yep. Or both those things at the same thing. Oh, that would be worse, because water, like... Magnifies. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we go inside, I guess? You go inside, and, like, at the back of the church, there's some like, choir practice going on. And there's like, oh, 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 praise the Lord Jesus. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, and you sort of walk in, and there's like a... Church, dude. I have been in a church. I've just never been to choir practice. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Oh, <baby. laughs> oh god! <laughs> Dear, I'm sorry, I'm I'm now quitting. I'm now quitting this game. Um, and going and stabbing my eardrums out. <laughs> <laughs> so you rock up, and there is like you know, as you enter the church, there is sort of like a um administrative bit. It's not really like a foyer or anything. It's sort of like um someone someone's in there and. Looks at you and says, "Oh, hi. Uh, are you looking for choir practice?" Um. No. Yeah. No. Uh, no. I get I get four on any performance checks, guys. I mean, also, you you're want... high. Remember that. Uh, <laughs> hi. You're high, and I'm just. Whoa, it's like Dying. I can hear the voices of angels in here. The acoustics are really amazing. I, I kind of wanted just a tour of the place. I, it's I, really I, pretty. Are, are you alright, ma'am? I'm, I'm fine. Just calm right now. This I'm place not... calms me. Are you, uh, are you here for the, the, the soup? Do do I look homeless? Uh no, but you do look like you're under the influence of something. I'm under the influence of Jesus Christ. Oh good. I was gonna be like, you better be saying God here. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> We're all under the influence of Jesus Christ, but, but sometimes I get some it. people take it a bit more uh chemically. On a spiritual <laughs> level. Yeah, uh, well, I'm, uh, are you alright? Do you need me to, do you, do you want to sit down? 
I am fine. Uh, sir, is she with you? Uh, y yes, I ignore my cousin. She's just a bit out of it right now. Maybe oh. pull up the picture and ask uh, if anyone who works the soup kitchen. Yeah, that's actually... Maybe we should have some soup. Well, <sighs> if you come back in an hour, the kitchen will be open. But, um... Do you have a do you have a uh, certificate in hospitality or any qualifications? Because if you do, we can put you uh, on the soup kitchen itself. We're always looking for volunteers. Uh, um, I, mean, no. I, don't, I don't really know what you guys are doing in the church right now. I am very hospitable. No, no. Jesus no. taught me to be. Oh my god! Oh, oh my front lobe. Jesus said, "Love thy neighbors." Yes, yes, he did. That was just neighbor. Oh god. Um, actually, I was looking to meet. Uh, looking for a friend. <laughs> no. Um, I was told that she might be here. Have Have you seen this? I'm gonna bring out a little arrow picture of her, and it's like, have you seen this woman around here? Oh yeah, she. Uh yeah, with the the leather jacket and and the 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 piercings. Yeah. Oh, she was around here. Oh. Would have been six weeks ago, uh, maybe seven. I'm not entirely sure. She she came in, um, but we had to eject her. She she just kept asking all the other homeless people for for drugs, and we don't we don't believe that the light of the Lord can be found in anything chemical. Uh, we we believe that only through prayer and and worship can can really I truly come to God. I was sure drugs was it serenity. Well, I mean, are you sure it was drugs? Was it? Are you sure it wasn't her looking for inner peace? Uh yeah. Um, we had some complaints from other other people that she was, you know, trying to be pushy about it. I mean, it's a joke because serenity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes right over head. Uh, Siren's laughing to herself a little bit. Weather wind blows only time. Right. Well, th thank you. Um, I guess we'll be back in an hour when when the soup's being served. Now, come on, come on, let's go now, cuz. Maybe we can go talk to those strange dudes in suits with tattoos that wear gloves like we were meant to. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So does Tiny Tin want to do that with uh, Pops while they're in the church? Or yeah, you hey, gonna... Pops, you want to go rough some cunt up? <laughs> Well, we're just starting a fight. No, we're not starting a fight. We're just gonna ask him some rather pointed questions with a knife. Uh, Wait, we don't we don't know they've done anything. We just know they're cunts. Yeah. Well, just, well you know what you can do for me then? How about you uh, fucking open up that little deck of yours, or if it's in your fucking head, just uh, maybe have a peek into one of their com links. Do I see their comlinks, Bob? I, uh... You do indeed see their comlinks. So I'm not running silent. Uh, what uh, what rating are they, Bob? A rating threes. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no, the dreaded six dice. Uh, yeah, yeah, against my eleven. Let's fucking do this. All right, oh, all Bob, right. He's just gonna roll like five out of six. Well, let's, yeah. Uh, let's just uh, get a let's get a mark on their comlink. Do you have baby monitor running? Uh, probably not with my shit deck. Let me have a look what I got running. I have sneak and uh, and stealth. Are you happy with two successes? Uh, I'm gonna go with no, I'm going to edge that shit. Oh, mm -hmm. I can keep mm -hmm. uh, five of those. Okay, so five hits means you get to ask me one matrix perception question, and you get a mark. 
Uh, what was the last action they performed? Send message. Right. Um, let's. Uh, can I do a matrix perception, or is it a matrix search to find their message logs? Uh, I'll say it's a matrix perception. So they are currently in a. They are currently in a like a group chat call thing, like a, a an audio chat. Mm -hmm. And is it logging the audio chat, or is it just like a constant communication? It's just a constant them? communication. So you need to snoop them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, just let me quickly pull up my cheat sheet. Oh, electronic warfare plus intuition. I, I might be able to do this. Oh, okay. yeah? Never mind my electronic warfare shit. Oh, yeah? Uh, you also need two marks, I believe. Or do you only need one? Yeah, I only need one. Oh, nice. Uh, I do have two edge left. Let's uh, let's uh, let's try go for Max. We'll ledge that. All right, four hits. Four hits. Um, you try and open it, and it fails. All right. Uh, let, let's try again. And uh, we'll ledge that again. All right, uh, that hits my limit of, uh, of, of, of five. Yeah, this time you kind of, boop, you enter their voice chat, but you do it like as an invisible user, so they can't actually see anyone has joined them. And you like enter into like a conversation. Um, where one of them goes, I fucking hate this job. Why is Lucifer got us out here watching this goddamn church again? <sighs> Damn it, Boris, stay professional. Lucifer wants us doing this, so we're doing this. Do you see anyone weird around here? I only see that bikey ganger. He looks strange. And is that some full body replacement, ma'am? I'm not sure. Very cybernetic. Total vet job. Ah, uh, yes. Fucking bars, can you not? Look, do you reckon they're a threat? Yet. Not yet. They are walking around. I think we are good. Alright, good. Hey, uh... Each side, you alright? Yeah, no, we're alright. Nothing over here to report, eh? Yeah, Pharaoh. Ah. Any news from boss? Oh, you yeah, know, we'll be swapping over pretty soon. Three of us heading back to the palace. Usual kind of digs. I fucking hate this job. Why has he got us standing out here? Hey, man, don't talk about fucking Lucifer like that. You know what he did to you? He fucking brought us out of nowhere. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's just, I want something more exciting. Look, he's got us looking after this fucking priest for some reason. Just, just deal with it, all right? We, uh, you heard back from, you know, Baz and Gaz? Well... Nah, mate, nah. Nah, Baz and Gaz have gone up fucking down the sticks for some reason, you know. Baz again? Baz and Gaz. Judging you. <laughs> Alright, so I pass along Tempest that uh, these cunts are heading to the palace soon. That, but I, I, I don't think it's gang related. We, uh, we, you might, you, you, you're only good at snacking. Yes. Well, you might work. They already spore us at the moment, so we'll wander off. Uh, you just follow them from far, being all, all sneaky like. You, you see, uh, I'd do that if we had reason to. Uh, some guy called Lucifer watching the 
Yeah, he's Making watching sure the priest, this place is protected. For what reason. It could be completely irrelevant. Maybe dig yeah. deeper into the comlink. Find the guy who seems to be in charge. Yeah, he's the one that always talking about Lucifer as he's been given the orders. Do I do I see any other files here, Bob? Um, yeah, you see a few files if you want to scurry around and give me a data search to find anything interesting. Yeah, nah. Apparently not. Do you want to try again? At a minus sure. one? Sure. Okay, that one you do find. So you go beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop. And you find that he has, um, you find his contact details, and there's a guy called Lucifer on there, and you find about 24 other people on the list, Baz, Gaz, um, Rick, uh, and all the other people who you know, were in that group call. Uh, you also find out that he currently is living at the Palace of Sin, which is a nightclub. Slightly out of the city, it's um in Hawthorne. No, wait, that's a bit too far out. Uh, in Richmond, Richmond. I'm gonna call myself again and say Collingwood. I I apologize, Collingwood. Final answer. All right, I've written three different suburbs in my notebook, but we'll settle on Collingwood. No syndicates at the Palace of Sin, actually. That is, um, that nightclub is kind of neutral ground, apparently. Um, not, not neutral, neutral ground, as in, like, it's holy ground for a Highlander. It's just no tr triad or gang has moved in there. Mm. Does anyone want to roll the Shadow Community knowledge on Lucifer? Sure, one sec. Do I? Do I? Lucifer is a very well-connected fixer. Oh boy, okay, I'm just gonna go with Mr. Clean here. So, Lucifer is a very well-connected fixer bar like, club owner. He runs the Palace of Sin, and he has a few teams working for him on the download. He's not a full-time fixer like Zed or, or Z or, like, you know, anyone else like that. He is pretty, um precise and he often tends to be the mr johnson's for his own runs he is very well protected by a significant um like bodyguard force that see him as almost like a father figure and he runs most of his operations out of his um his nightclub the palace of sin bringing weapons into there Really not recommended, because he will spot them and yell at you, and yeah, he is a very powerful man. Does he have any history with our target? You do not know that, off the top of your head. Does he have any history with this church? It doesn't look like it, no. At least from what you can tell. Do you guys want to wrap it up here and uh, continue it next week? Yeah, that works for me, because sure. it's getting to 11. Sure. I appreciate an early night. Cool. And I feel as this is just a good place to wrap up. Um, so you finished looking at the church. Now this Lucifer and his strange goons are interesting. Um, Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, we will probably be back sometime next week. Uh, we have a, like roving schedule so it sort of depends on when everyone's free 
but we will be streaming it hopefully and uploading it to the something about you uh, tabletop YouTube channel um, hopefully in chunks so it is slightly more uh, accessible so thanks for watching and have a good one Chavis. Bye.